Hey there, little fellow citizens. Welcome to my channel. Uh, if you guys are new here, my name is Anthony Avina, and this is Avina Vlogs, where I daily vlog. I have a weekly podcast called The Writer's Corner, and I do weekly random videos, like tag videos, challenge videos, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, but I'm adding a new video kind of thing to my schedule, um, which is going to be reviews. Um... I am a journalist with Honor Quest Magazine when I'm not writing my novels. And, uh, you know, that's one of the things that kind of pays the bills around here is my work with Honor Quest Magazine. And uh, I get a lot of reviews that I do. Uh, television reviews, book reviews, movie reviews, and a lot of music reviews. Um, and what, but today, from the title, you guys probably can tell, I'm going to be talking about conventions. In particular, Kamikaze, Stan Lee's Kamikaze. Um, but I'm going to be doing reviews now, from now on, uh, of what I review, video reviews. Not every single review, because I'd be having videos every hour of the day if I did that. But, um, I'm going to be doing video reviews when I get, uh, big projects that come my way. And I'm going to share them with you, stuff like this, the Kamikaze Expo that I just went to. Um, and they're not going to be on a certain day that they come out, I'm just, when I do the review... I'm going to release them, and you guys will get them on the spot right then and there. So, um, well, not right then. I'll schedule it for, like, the next day after I do the review. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much the intro. So, uh, that's what's going to be happening from now on. Now, the stuff you guys have been looking forward to, here is uh, a little uh, retrospective look at uh, Kamikaze 2015. I'm going to be sharing some clips. So you may have seen them in my daily vlog already. But if you haven't, I'm going to be uh, doing voiceover, uh, explaining my thoughts on the convention and what you guys are watching exactly um, as it happens. And then there will be moments where I'm not talking because I want you guys to hear some important stuff. I was lucky enough to be able to watch a live interview with the very lovely and talented Summer Glau of Firefly Serenity fame as well as uh, the Sarah Connor Chronicles, Arrow, and more. Uh, she is amazing, so, like, poised, elegant, very smart, and uh, very beautiful. And she uh, had a lot of great things to say, and I recorded a few clips of that. So you'll see that, and some awesome cosplay, and you'll hear my thoughts on the convention. So, without further ado... This is Anthony Avina with On Request Magazine, and this is my take on Stan Lee's Kamikaze 2015. Good afternoon, citizens. I am here at Kamikaze, Stan Lee's Kamikaze. We're here at the LA Convention Center, and I'm going to be vlogging while I'm here. Um, I got my official press pass here. Uh, this place is awesome. There's cosplayers everywhere. This is like geek heaven right now so i'm um, pretty happy and i can't wait to hang with you guys today and show you guys what's going on so let's go inside stanley's kamikaze and with that i got my press badge and we were off to kamikaze and one of the first things we saw was a star wars family yes a family that cosplayed as star stormtroopers together and that's one of the things you'll see a lot in this video is a lot of cosplay it was evident everywhere there's a big star wars theme this year as evidenced by this giant chewbacca and the stormtroopers uh but they were really everywhere and now here's stan the man himself Thanks, guys. okay remember blood red dragon and um, if you don't buy every issue you'll hear from me at the next convention <laughs> <Thanks. laughs> If Stan Lee can't convince you, maybe the smile on that young man's face will, as it's quite clear that passion reigns supreme here among the fandom. And now, let's hear an in-depth interview from the very lovely and talented Summer Glau. We were lucky enough to be live in audience to see her speak on her many roles in the sci-fi genre and how her rise to fame came to be. More passionate fan base than there is in the nerd community. Am I right, guys? <laughs> Now, 
If I were to write a biography about you, I think the title would be From Ballerina to Badass. Um, talk to us a little bit about kind of growing up in, in that, that, you know, all that ballerina kind of world and how did that impact when you started getting into making films and television and, and playing these incredibly strong and cool characters? It was an accident. <laughs> but it was a happy accident. I was a dancer and I was um, I was injured. It's a long story. It's a long story. But basically... Wait, um, your first episode of Angel was you were being ballerina, is that correct? That's correct, which is funny because when I first moved to L.A., I... Um, I was dancing, but I wanted to just—I just had this feeling like maybe I could act. I just had a feeling about being a dancer because they, they won't think you're a real actress. And um, then, it, oh, it's a hard, it's a hard. You know, the thank you for asking that. I—it would have to be one of my big fights in serenity. First started doing panels after after Serenity came out. Uh, th this was a question that was asked, and I was shocked at how many of my castmates had stolen things off the set because I was new and I followed the rules. And they told me not to take anything, so I didn't. You didn't hang out enough with Nathan because that guy is a goofball. Don't get away with everything. He likes to lift, yeah. He, he, he's, he's... And now we'll go center stage. Awesome. You wow, wasn't she amazing? So yeah, after the Summer Glow interview, we made our way over to some of the celebrity sightings. You had about four cast members from SOA in there. You can see Danielle Panabaker from CW's The Flash. There were so many celebs in attendance, but we were lucky enough to actually get to meet Danielle. She took some time to take some photos with myself and our editor of On Request Magazine. And she was just the nicest, sweetest person you could possibly hope to meet. We also got her to sign a photograph for us. Next, here are some of the amazing cosplay that you could see at, at Kamikaze. Here you'll find someone who detailed a necromorph from Dead Space. And here are some amazing professional shots of an actor or cosplayer as Loki from Avengers. Look at the attention to detail. He looks just like him, doesn't he? Well, citizens, that is the end of our kamikaze adventure. Great day. We're going to be hitting the road pretty quick here. And I uh, just want to say, hey, thanks for tuning in with us today. Now let's get back on the road and get home. And there you have it, the end of our day at Kamikaze Expo 2015. As you look over the Los Angeles skyline, you can't help but reflect on the amazing things that we experienced here at Kamikaze. The amazing artwork by artists on display for everyone to see. The limited edition action figures on sale or just on display. The incredibly kind and sweet celebrities who took the time out of their day to meet with fans. The funny and detailed oriented cosplayers who went around the convention not just to show their support for their characters, but to showcase the talent that everyone has within them. There are sightings galore of fan favorites like Groot, or you could pledge your allegiance to one of the many houses of Game of Thrones. Overall, Kamikaze Expo was a family affair that everyone could get into. There are so many memories from that day, But I will never forget our time at the Kamikaze Expo. It was a great day, a great Halloween, filled with amazing entertainers and creators. And there you have it, guys. That was my take on Stan Lee's Kamikaze Expo 2015. It was a beautiful day in Los Angeles. It was a great, great way to spend Halloween. So many amazing people there at the convention center, not just the celebrities like Daniel Panabaker and Summer Glau and Stan Lee himself, uh, but they're just amazing. There's an amazing sense of community here at the convention. Uh, so many awesome cosplayers, so many passionate people about 
the comic book industry, the horror industry, the science fiction industry. Um, this was a mecca uh, of pop culture phenomenon. Um, Stan Lee is one of the most brilliant creators of comic books in our society. And uh, he really has a great eye for what the people want. And he comes at a, a convention like this, not just from the standpoint of a creator, but from the standpoint of a fan, someone who truly loves and appreciates the work that goes into this industry. And so he puts on one of the best shows when him and his team and the people who helped put this convention together, uh, major, major props to you guys. You guys did a fantastic job. My editor and I were there in person checking out everything at the convention. And the staff was very attentive, very cool, uh, you know, really paid attention to who you were, where you needed to go. They were quick to help you if you needed a direction somewhere, and uh, just a pleasure to work with. So I had no complaints from the staff. Uh, the convention was amazing. Um, you know, even though it was crowded, it was great. It was because you felt, like, the passion from everyone there. I didn't hear a lot of catcalling or anything like that towards any cosplayers, so that was a refreshing little change of pace, because that's an unfortunate side effect of cosplay in our society. Um, but it seemed like everyone was very attentive, um, very on point with their task, and uh, very well organized, and made for a very enjoyable experience. So, um, overall, I think Stanley's Kamikaze was a phenomenal success this year. Uh, I'm looking forward to this being kind of a staple convention experience that Honor Quest Magazine gets to be a part of. This was our second year going, and it was even better this year than last. I'm honored to have been given the opportunity to meet some of the celebs out there like Danielle Panabaker, to get to hear people like Stan Lee and Summer Glau speak, and to get to take some amazing photos um, of the people who make this convention worthwhile. So, um, make sure you check out honorquestmag.com and go check out our feature article, full-length article, which has a lot more in-depth detail than the video, uh, about the convention with lots and lots of pictures, like really high-quality pictures are on the website. So make sure you go to the links down below, follow me on all my social media sites, and the link to the magazine is down there as well. Go check out the magazine, the magazine's YouTube channel and all that, subscribe, and uh, go support the magazine and uh, check out the article. And if you like the article, make sure you share the link to the page uh, on the website with all your friends, your family, your loved ones. Blast it on social media. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. In the comments below, I want you to tell me, one, what was your favorite part of the Stanley Kamikaze footage that you saw today, including the pictures? And two... Uh, what convention do you want to see on Request Magazine hit up next? Uh, of course, me, your loyal correspondent, Anthony Avina, is always on hand, ready to go to the next convention, the next big thing. So make sure you leave your comments down below and let us know where you want to see us next. Uh, that way we can bring, continue to bring you the best coverage for the you, the fans, by the fans ourselves. So, thank you guys for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up. Like this video, comment on it, favorite it, and share it. If you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button down below, the big red subscribe button right there. If you haven't clicked it yet, make sure you do, because I want to keep bringing stuff like this to you guys on a daily basis. So make sure you tune in, subscribe, and check out that eye in the sky up there to see the latest and greatest recommended videos from yours truly, Anthony Avina. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Long days and pleasant nights, my friends.